It's all I need in this life. If you're in the Welland Park area and looking for some great dining options, then keep watching as we take you on a tour of the restaurants in downtown Welland Park. From casual spots by the lake to an elegant night out and an interactive beer wall, we'll show you all around and highlight a few of our favorites. Stay tuned. We're Josh and Liz from That Florida Life, helping you live that Florida lifestyle you've been dreaming about. Whether you already live in Florida, are planning a vacation here, or thinking of moving here one day. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our Florida travel, lifestyle, and real estate videos. Welland Park is one of the hottest new master plan developments in Florida. Located just a short drive from Venice, Florida, and the gorgeous Gulf Coast beaches, Welland Park offers multiple neighborhood communities connected to its own downtown area for convenient shopping, dining, and a community hub for events and everyone to enjoy. The great thing about downtown Welland Park is that it's open for everyone to enjoy, no matter if you live here in one of the communities or in the nearby area. And one of the highlights of downtown Welland Park are all of the new restaurants that are opening up. So let's dive in and show you what restaurants are in Welland Park and currently open and share with you what we love about them. The highly anticipated Oak and Stone restaurant recently opened and it has quickly become one of our favorite restaurants with artisanal pizzas and an impressive collection of craft beer. In fact, their interactive beer wall offers endless options on tap. Just swipe your card and taste them all. Their menu offers a variety of things from salads, sandwiches, burgers, and of course, a great selection of pizzas. My personal favorite is their white pizza. It is delicious. The restaurant has a great atmosphere with both indoor and outdoor dining that opens up and flows seamlessly. And there's also an awesome rooftop bar that gives you stunning views out over the lake and the whole Welland Park area. Villani & Co. is the place to go if you're in the mood for great steaks, seafood, or a raw bar. The modern, intimate atmosphere is perfect for a night out with friends or a nice lunch. Dinner offers an elevated experience with high-quality steak and seafood options, while lunch is a more casual affair with lighter foods. <laughs> A what? A fragrant tomato milk with fragrant tomatoes and pimento cheese. Oh, that might be your jam right there. That's all I need in this life. It's just fragrant tomatoes and pimento cheese. Look at that. Look at that. How do you, how do you tackle that? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's um, really good. For lunch, my pick is the library steak salad with a gorgonzola vinaigrette that is simply outstanding. They also have some great daily and weekly specials, as well as an amazing Sunday brunch too. Dive into the bold flavors of the Italian Riviera at Aqua Pazza. Inspired by the Mediterranean and Adriatic regions of Italy, this is the newest restaurant in downtown Welland Park, and it quickly became a favorite of ours too. We love the modern, elegant, yet light and airy design of the restaurant, with calming colors that definitely remind you of the sea. You can almost imagine just sipping cocktails with an ocean breeze. Enjoy indoor or al fresco dining for lunch and dinner. And when it comes to appetizers, don't skip out on this. They are famous for their arancini, which is fried risotto and mozzarella. And the flavor changes daily as a chef's specialty. You had me a fried risotto. It was fantastic. And as far as pasta goes, we highly recommend the lobster ravioli. It was incredible and stuffed full of lobster. And if you still have room after all of that, don't skip out on dessert. We highly recommend the cannoli pie. Yes, it's a cannoli in a giant pie. 
Pretty good. It was definitely enough to share for two people and we still had leftovers, but it was a must try because it was absolutely out of this world delicious. Relax under the canopy of the Banyan House, where elegance meets comfort and charm. This lakeside restaurant offers an elevated experience that's perfect for a night out or a special occasion. Outside dining overlooks the lake, but the inside offers a beautiful atmosphere with the towering tree and twinkling lights. Dinner is a culinary affair here, from steaks, rack of lamb, pot roast to seafood, including salmon and lobster while lunch offers an array of delectable gourmet sandwiches. You can also enjoy the ambiance of the bustling bar area with some great drink options, including one called Under the Banyan Tree. And they also have a great happy hour and serve small plate options from 2.30 to 4 p.m. If you're looking for something more casual and lighter, you'll find a few other options in downtown Wellham Park too. Foxtail Coffee is a favorite of mine, offering lots of coffee and tea options, as well as some other snacks and pastries and small bites, especially for breakfast and lunch. There's also the food truck area. You'll find a great little food truck area near Oak and Stone, where you can grab something to eat from the window and enjoy a seat outside with the views. From gourmet hot dogs, popcorn, lobster rolls, and more. And if you're in the mood for some ice cream, then head on over to Bright Ice for a tempting selection that uses only natural ingredients. No syrups, concentrates, or artificial flavors at all. And every unique flavor here celebrates the Florida lifestyle. And lastly, even though it's adjacent to downtown Wellham Park and it's actually in the Publix Shopping Center, we had to include Irma's Tacos on this list. Choose from an assortment of unique tacos bursting with flavor, wrapped in homemade corn or flour tortillas. These are some of the best tacos you'll find. Pair it with a beer or choose from their huge selection of tequilas for a refreshing cocktail. For more details about any of these restaurants in Welland Park, be sure to visit our website, thatfloridalife.com, and check out our complete blog post. And remember, we'll be adding to this blog post and updating it as more restaurants come to the area. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on our other videos about Florida travel, lifestyle, and real estate. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.